Sam. Sam, it's cold out here. It's freezing. It's freezing. It's always cold. Guys, <laughs> these two guys were bounced over to Belfast to renew your visa. Mm -hmm. To head back out to yeah. Fredericks. Yeah. You'll go soon yeah. and you'll go a little bit later because you have a lot of ploughing to do with the back window open. <laughs> oh, wait for the window open. <laughs> <laughs> so they called down, we were just spending the day. Gary's feeding the cows, he's actually doing some work. Um, and we just wanted a wee chat so it but you guys sent us another bit of footage that you've worked on throughout this year. So we know COVID was awkward. We know Olivia caught up with you last year. Mm -hmm. What way did it work out for you guys at Fredericks last year? It was hard getting staff because of the travel ban and people struggled to get visas. So we couldn't get any of our J1 guys on their first time. I J1s like <clears throat> first year? Yeah, first years. Come for the Ohio State with John Beardmore there. And but H2As together. was okay. Yeah, H2As, amazing. jumping through some hoops and writing letters, but you could get an H2A. Yeah. yeah and that's how me and Disco and Nick and... But how year. was your season? This Leaving year. all that aside this year, once you got out there? It was good, yeah. It was difficult at times being short-staffed, but we just had to work through it, I guess. But that's not... Maybe going to just be as big a problem this year, guys, I think. We're starting to... Yeah, mm -hmm. it's starting to open up now. and The embassies are starting to open up to get visas. The border's and open, the travel ban's lifted. Hopefully mm -hmm. it stays lifted, yeah, and but... Let's talk some plant. So we're still all the mighty green. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had the X9 and we spoke to you, uh, Olivia spoke to you about the X9 mm -hmm. and you looked at it because you run it like a trial machine, but you just didn't buy any. No. It's a little bit, a little bit large for our operation as far as harvesting goes. It was a good machine, but um, we find more smaller combines work better. Just work and better. I know easier to haul for a start. What are you still? Are you still driving the 770 disco? Yeah. Yeah, 8770s, 5780s each year. I know, that's mad. So it's 8770s. So what happens? Does five of them disappear and fall to bring in the other? Uh, we usually keep them. And that way, if we need, say, one combine in one place, we can just send it off to that one place. And we could leave combines. Like, we often leave combines in South Dakota when we finish um, after the summer harvest. They just stay there until they're needed yes. in the fall. So keeps it flexible. Mental. And you're all into the Gen 2 8 series on the, on the carts now. We are, yeah. Um, you liking your mass size seat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, get 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 it, drive, I don't get a bit of drive it, no. But yeah, some people like it and some people don't, but I'd take one. <laughs> what about the trucks? Yeah. Still, you know, we brought you here, we let you drive a good, you know, <laughs> European Scania <laughs> truck. I wouldn't say good, maybe, but <laughs> each to their own. That's <laughs> <laughs> all's finished. Interview terminated. <laughs> 
You are seriously not going to try and tell me that the actually your Kenworth is is is, is better. I have to get them side by side and see, I suppose. No problem. <laughs> I ain't, ain't, ain't any European guy will take that one on. Yeah. First challenge is you've got to turn around in this yard. Yes. <laughs> oh, that, that's not possible. <laughs> no, straight lines only. But the season that the season was relatively good last year. Frederick Farms is still going from strength to strength, and mm -hmm. Nick's been doing a lot of, as usual, planting. Now we know we had a nine RX. Mm -hmm. But he got another new toy this year. He did, he got an 8 RX for And how did that planting. work out? It seems to it, be a very popular tractor. Yeah, it, Certainly it here it is. It worked really well for planting. He really, really liked it. Did a good job. Smooth, smooth riding and... I mean, I don't drive it, but he really, he really likes it. Um, so that worked well for planting this, this time. <clears throat> we like the 8 RX too. What about you? Did you get to drive it? Never drove it. I Never sat, drove I, I it? I sat in it once and that was as close as I got to it. <laughs> well, that's what got a massaging seat. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Nice enough. Nice, nice. It's, a, it's, a, it's fairly a nice cab. They've come a long way with the cabs. Has yeah. the nature of the work much the same or has it diversified even more to, you know, is there more beans, more corn, more wheat? Mm, yeah, there's, there's more fall crop, which is corn and soybeans, than there is wheat anymore. And out of that, this last year anyway, there was more soybeans than we've had before. Yeah. It just changes the game plan a little bit. Um, it's not as much volume of crop. Oh, okay. you know, corn is such high volume, you need so much trucks, people, but soybeans are a little bit slower. Slower cut in, less yield. So what's your favorite job, Disco? Still combining or trucking? Uh, I don't know, I like trucking, I suppose. I still like the oversized load moving and all that. Still a novelty. I just don't Still do it. Still a novelty. You've been uh, doing that like for six years yeah, now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do it as often as I used to. So it's nice to get out of the combine and do some of that for now, a change. Since you last were here, the yellow machine has arrived, yeah. and you were away driving it yesterday for a bit of a lap. Yeah. What did you think for our, as as a tractor? Now bear in mind, I know you guys are hardcore John Deere, and even at your farm at home it's hardcore John Deere mm, yeah um, well it's definitely fast I'll give it that <laughs> um, and smooth riding on the road um, say if you're doing a lot of roading it would be worth considering yeah I just don't know what it'd be like in the field I will yeah but they're getting better what do you think Sam you were away a drive too oh yeah smooth if you were going to do road work that's what I'd be wanting to sit in I think it's certainly a lot smoother than a a regular style tractor and then so like tractor wise it's all it still eight series that you're running on the on the chaser do you mm -hmm. think john deere released their lately their new fully autonomous eight series do you see that coming in to the likes of you guys chasing green you i think know? i think it'll come in the end yeah no, for now it's just cultivation or tillage that they've worked on, but at the, the kit they've made actually would fit on one of our ARs, as far as I know. It's a, it's a kit that they fit um, with software updates, I guess, but right now it's just tillage, but I, I, it won't be long before the grain car will be doing the same thing. and It'll drive itself to the side of the field and then the truck driver will probably empty it. What you're basically saying is, in your eyes, the technology's there? Yeah, the technology's there already, as it's far just... as I know. You can tell it'll with machine sync, you're halfway there, or you've got to get the tractor to the side of the field, basically. Let's go. How would you feel about an eight? Is it three seventies mostly? Yeah. An eight, three, an eight R three seventy hurtling yeah. towards you, full pelt, well. <laughs> with the chaser on, we'll and nobody turning the steering wheel. It'll take a bit again. You see the sight of that one. <laughs> Has Nick been just mostly? Mm. He stays on the farm, and he's so yeah. he's mostly he's either in his nine RX or his mm -hmm. eight RX, pretty much. Yeah. For the most part, so this last, this for last fall before he went home, he did a lot of the strip tilling. Yep. It was dry, so they got a lot of strip tilling done. And I see in some of the the videos there that and pictures that's been sent in something I've never seen before: supplying feedlots with corn, but not me as silage. If you get what I'm saying, but in silage, it yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. high moisture corn. So that'll be from 24 to 32 normally, yeah. percent moisture. 
Um, dry corn for them over there is, well, we're 20 and below roughly, but really it's 15.5. Wow. It's only let really, as you can see here, we'll show you the videos, like we've got like nine, eight or nine, nine hour something's packing in, this in. Semis queued the whole way down the road, mm -hmm. dropping corn. Loaders loading it into to what looks from the air like a trailer, which is grinding it. Dumping like it in the silo, <laughs> like, like dumping it in the silo, and these tractors just keep packing this, mm -hmm. and that's for like the feedlot, and, and the yeah. feedlot them, that itself is massive. Yeah. So that's a big thing. Yeah, there's some big feedlots. And there. you're still doing the usual stops, like when you, you you're leaving and you're heading down yeah. towards Oklahoma, Oklahoma, yeah, and then sort of Walsh, Colorado, and then finishing off up North, in North Dakota, yeah. Dakota. So it's still you're still making that journey. Yeah, for the most part, the stops stay the same, keeps it easy. It's a few and that's still your, you well. like you like the road and you like out on the road with the truck. Yeah. Do you let him drive the truck on the road? <laughs> well, he drives the truck every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> Only when I'm forced to. And it's normally an automatic. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, guys, it's great to see you. And I just put this out to anyone out there. If you are looking a bit of work, they're still off. There's still maybe a few spaces. Maybe there aren't any. Or yeah, there's still a few spaces left. Still then, a but. few spaces left. So this is possibly the year where people are going to chance getting back out again. Mm -hmm. And now the travel bans are lifted. Travel you can, bans you going to travel. Lift there's still out. testing requirements, but yeah, so. it's doable now. And if, uh, if anybody's unsure, just just do it. You know, you'll, reg you'll regret it. Well, you, you did don't. it many years ago. Yeah, no. Six, and look years, at you six, now. six years ago. Seven <laughs> yeah. years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah. And him, he's, he's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> he, he struggles to come home. <laughs> and it's not that big a hassle. It's just where you are based in Scotland. It's sort of London or Belfast, is that? That's the only two options, yeah. That's the only two options, so it's just as easy for you to end up over to Belfast. Yeah. You just basically came to join for a party. Yeah, and it, to be honest, it was not much different to me going to London from where I am. Nice, nah, jumping it and over there, here, so, so we're just going for that's a That's what we're doing, we're having a party, so. Guys, some fresh footage, Fredericks, they're keeping her lit. Nice to see these lads again. Hopefully we get back out soon uh, to see Lance and the rest of the crew. Be good, be good, be good. Should be in